Okay, essentially we left off last time with the walls completed and the uh, steel rebar beams in place that will be our supports for our concrete ceiling. If you missed part two and part one, I'll leave, a, uh, I'll leave the links in the description below of the video here. When you're done, you can visit those links. At this point, we took the opportunity to uh, rough finish some of the walls uh, while we were waiting for some other materials to arrive. we got plywood. We've got rebar. We've got cocoa lumber. We've got dirt. And we got gravel. Now we can move forward. We chose to wait about three days after we poured the floor here before we uh, built the supports uh, for the concrete ceiling and put any weight on the new surface. Uh, three days minimum uh, would ensure that it would be strong enough to put weight on. And now that I essentially had one room pretty much contained and sealed up, I decided to clear off my patio. Long, you don't need to go to the gym. Huh? No gym needed. Now that floor one was done, it was time to do work on floor two. So we hauled in the dirt and started compacting. We're doing about a three and a half inch slab for this room. Meanwhile, after moving all that stuff off my patio, I noticed that I had a little infestation problem in my shelving. So it was time to rip it all out. Man, these little boogers, uh, termites as we call them, Anai, as they call them locally, can really do some damage. Here in the tropics, they work year-round, or overtime. In any case, I got everything all moved and demolished and made some room for modifying this wall. And I decided I was taking no chances with this room. I was going to put uh, a termite barrier down before we poured the concrete. And while my guy on top was working on the forms for the beams, my guy down on the ground was working on uh, rebar in the floor. Well, he might have been able to see right now, but not in about an hour he won't be able to, so I uh, picked up a light for him because I knew we were going to get into uh, working this cement after sunset, and it would be pretty dark in this room. Um, pouring here is slow, bucket by bucket. It's not a quick process. And then the rains hit. Originally I intended on maybe trying a stained concrete floor, but because the rains impacted our finished job, it looks like we'll be tiling in this room. And after the floor was done, the guys moved back up top to work on some framing and I took the opportunity to uh, work uh, and finish up on some of the plumbing. Here's the CR plumbing, and it's all most of the most of the stuff's piped into the septic tank, except for the, just the regular floor drains. It's, it's piped out into the into the ocean. We're ready for a roof here. Supports are in place for the ceiling over the man cave, and. Uh, the tool room, the man cave, and the CR will all be poured at the same time. It'll be one solid, humongous slab. These supports will remain in place for about 21 days after the uh, ceiling is poured. Have you ever had a nighttime premonition? Well, I woke up one morning and decided that we were going to put a little porch roof over the opening to the CR and the man cave. So we decided to put a post here and extend the, the overhang about four feet out over this area. Thank you. 
From this perspective you can see that the slab will be poured on top of the plywood supports and will fill in the, uh, the uh, steel rebar reinforced beams. So essentially what we'll have is one big solid piece of concrete on top. The beams will be infused in the decking and vice versa. Here we made some cookies with some extra concrete we had. No, I'm just kidding. These are uh, little concrete spacers we're going to use to uh, insert underneath the rebar between the rebar and the uh, the wood decking to keep the rebar suspended in the concrete more toward the center of the slab I have provided ladders for these guys, but uh, I guess they prefer to climb in flip-flops. And because I ran the overhang out over on one side about an extra four feet, I thought I'd do the same thing for the front of the building. And another afterthought, we attached some, uh, some supports and uh, an overhang that will protect us from, from rain or sun. Eventually we'll turn this roof deck into a terrace and uh, it'll give us a, a simple little overhead view of the Brongai and the ocean in the opposite direction. Well that's it for now so make sure you stay tuned for part four and uh, we'll keep you abreast of our concrete pouring progress. Thanks for watching. One day at a time.